What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Viking 12.0 Pro. Now I had a couple people asking about a bathroom and things like that. This tiny thing has just about everything you could possibly need to go camping and even really if you wanted to live in it for a few weeks. This would cover everything you possibly need. Would I live in it full time? Probably not, but it could be. So let's jump into it. All right, let's start in the very front. So obviously I have a jump box hooked up to it. There's no battery or propane already on it, but it does come with both. So you don't have to worry about that. You have the big Viking logo with a cool, I, I love the character on a gray background, I guess, or a silverish background. And then down here you do have a rock guard as well. Um, up top you can see that it has an air conditioning so all of the vikings that we order whenever i search for other vikings to kind of price compare none of them have an air conditioning it's hard to find air conditioning on these pop-ups but every single one no matter what size whether you go with something much bigger like that or that's the same thing as a 12.0 pro you got it ac on there and then from the factory i don't know if i can get a good view I'm gonna try my best. It comes standard with a uh, solar panel, so you can maintain your 12 volt battery. I hope you could see it. Otherwise, I'll put some B-roll of it over it, so. But yeah, so you got air conditioning, you got a solar panel. Let's keep on going. It's a uh, manual tongue jack. You have a two and five sixteen hitch right there in the front. And then you do have manual jacks that go all the way around before we go in there i'm going to kind of go around the whole thing and then i'll show you what's inside of there you have your lp quick connect right here you have your outdoor shower which is going to run cold and hot water you have a tv mount right here along with your coax hookup and your 110 plugs coming on down this is going to be your water outlet and we're going to save this for later too your water outlet um, for the sink you can either put a bucket there or you can run it with a hose. You have, let's take a look at the tires. Oh yeah, the spare tire is exactly the same. So, so I don't have to bend over. You have a 235, 75, 15. Double steps to get in. All LED tail lights. The big plus is it's a full electric lift for the top. So you don't have to go around cranking things up. You also have a bottle opener, nice hand grip. And then coming on around, you can see this is the motor to raise and lower the top. You have a suburban furnace. This is a 30 amp power supply. You have your go um, solar panel hookup. That's going to be your coax cable when you hook up at the campsite. You have your fresh water tank. You have your city water tank. And then you have, I believe, one of these. Oh, that might be your tank flush. Yeah. And then you have a six-gallon hot water heater. For something this size, that's actually very, very nice to have. Coming all around. Let's take a look at some of the specs down here. This little fat RV weighs 2,444 pounds and it's 16 foot, one inches in total length. Your tire rating is D, so 235, 75R15 D. Your GVWR is 3,840 pounds and your axle weight is 3,500 pounds. So very nice. The weight of the cargo should never exceed 1,379 pounds. That is a lot of cargo for something this size. Now, the other things I want to point out that it comes with, and there's going to be boxes inside. So let's go ahead and just open it up, okay? And I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to show a timer to give you all a general idea of how long it takes to open it. I'll do it, and I'm going to do it in real time. But if there's no timer, then I apologize. But I'll try to figure something out. So let me set up the tripod. You have tie downs on each side, just little traditional ones. We're gonna take them both off just like that. And then we're just gonna extend it.
All right, there you have it. All right, so we're gonna go inside. As you can see, the door doesn't fit the whole way. That is actually just your travel door. There is a door inside that is fully extend, goes all the way to the top. So you're not gonna get any water in if, the, if it decided to rain. But let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna be quiet. We have two steps and the third one will get you into the RV. So let's do this. go through this thing it's not going to take very long because it's all compacted so if you're still watching keep watching towards the end because there's the th two things that I really or one thing that I really like and really the cassette toilet was that other door so I, I forgot to go through that but uh, so you got your air conditioning right here it is a general electric AC and if you are up here you are gonna freeze so better bring some good blankets plenty of room for two people and then there is a third bed located right here. This just slides out and turns into another bed. And then coming around, you have a plug, your thermostat, and then you got storage all the way down. And you have a little bit of storage underneath, but then you have this as well, a nice little drawer. Storage right here, probably gonna be made just to use for the bathroom so it makes it easier so you have boxes around this is your awning you also have your it's like an outdoor covering i'll see if i can find a picture of it it comes down and covers the front you have propane right here you have an acrylic sink with a matte black faucet all right and then you have your hot water heater you have your light switch and you have your plug right there you have a place to put some things on top and then from down there you have a refrigerator it's just a traditional high point refrigerator you have an ever chill oh, <laughs> microwave refrigerator by ever chill just a regular fridge very nice and then under here we have a little bit of storage i like how they boxed off the plumbing so you don't have to deal with it or worry about things falling behind it and then coming down it is a full shower you can see all the controls you have a shower hookup right there you have a toilet it is a cassette toilet and then of course all this is wet right here so you can get get it all wet and then coming back this way we have storage underneath the bed large storage there you go and then coming down here you have your lp uh, detector you have a auto detecting um, fuse panel it'll detect whether you're using lead or lithium batteries and then you have your charge controller right there going haywire and then you got your furnace right there all right so lots of stuff lots of space for such a small rv let's go back outside i want to show you all that last little entry all right so this one right here this is going to be your toilet and shower cassette toilet But this one right here is where it's at. To me, this makes this thing worth it. Let's open it up. So check this out. So you have your cooking griddle right here. And then it would be really cool if they were able to put some type of 
sink right here, but you do have your shower right here. So you could easily run the cord from here to here. And you can, I, I just picture cleaning fish. It just seems like a great thing to have while you're cooking fish or getting it ready. Like a nice uh, catfish boil or fry, a catfish fry rather. And then this is an Everchill refrigerator and freezer. It runs off of 12 and 110. Just like, it's such a strong hold. So it's got a huge, hugely, hugely strong magnet on it. That's all that's holding it down, but it's strong enough to do it without it popping up, which is a huge plus. You have freezer, refrigerator, and all your controls right here. Behind that, you do have a place, a table for out here. So that's always a plus. You also have lights right here, which I really like the blue. I, I know a lot of people are going with this and I know some people aren't gonna like it, but I really like it. And then you do have your 110 plug over here along with, I don't know if you can see it from here, and two USB-Cs and a regular plug. And I mean 12 volt, 110, and two USB-Cs. It's hard to see down there. And then you have a latch right here. You just lift this, and then it pushes in. No problem. One of my favorite features of this RV. It's so awesome. Because this RV is truly meant to actually go camping in. You wouldn't want to live full time in it. You could, but I think you'd be crazy. <laughs> but to each his own. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over all the specs right now. All right, let's go over the specs. So the interior box size is 12 foot. The travel length is 17 foot, five inches. The travel width is seven foot, one inch. The travel height is seven foot, five inches. The exterior open length is 13 foot, 11 inches. The interior open height is six foot, four inches. The sleeping capacity is three people. The front sleeping area has a bed that's 54 inches by 74 inches. The hitch weight is 340. 40 pounds. The axle weight is 3,500 pounds. The unloaded vehicle weight is 2,493 pounds. The cargo capacity is 1,347 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating is 3,840 pounds. And the water tank size, which you only have one tank, which is your fresh water tank, is 27 gallons. Your solar panel is 200 watts, and that pretty much covers everything. Back to me. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let me know what you think about this RV. And if you are interested in these RVs or any RV on my channel, all my contact information will be down in the description. And until next time, bye.